Hey everyone, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, do some basic color correction effects on a uh, image in Paint.net. So, um, what's really cool about color correction and why I like it so much is um, you really can't find the exact same uh, color correction unless you make a preset of it. So, it's really fun to just mess around and get some really dynamic images from some really stale um, otherwise boring images. So basically what I did is I took a picture of a mountain. Let me go ahead and open it. This is the original and um, it looks kind of, it looks very nice, no doubt. But I spiced it up a bit and made it a bit um, awesome with some color correction and I also added a vignette. So um, uh, it's very easy to do. Basically um, all you have to do is do apply the adjustments onto the background layer and make a new layer to add the vignette. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to mess around with the brightness and contrast which is under adjustments and um, I have my settings here basically I want the contrast to be a little higher um, and to be a little darker I guess you could say and the brightness uh, it could be around the same possibly a little less bright for this image um, it all depends what kind of picture you're dealing with so keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to get some more color in here. So if we go under adjustments and hue saturation, um, give it a little more saturation. You don't want kind of like a dull color like the original. Uh, spice up the colors. It looks really, really nice already um, with the uh, dynamic blue and green contrasting. Uh, together. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK to that. That looks pretty awesome. And the final thing that we're gonna do is again go to adjustments and go to curves. And um, here is really all up to you. Um, I, I like to have the red toned to like a S shape and the green also toned to an S shaped but a little less um, just for the style of picture because there's not too much green in it anyways. So, um, and the blue, I, I liked the blue effect, so I, uh, brought the blue down to the right and brought it up on the left. And it gives me this nice, uh, dynamic colored effect here. So, um, I guess just look at the graph that I have shown here and you can replicate it if you want or create your own... Um, new style of color curves. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. And so right now we have this, and uh, very simply, the final thing to make it a little uh, old timey, focal, focally, focal point, is uh, to add a new layer. You have to make sure you apply your vignette on a new layer, or it will replace all the adjustments you've made to the um, background. So on our new layer, if we go to effects, artistic and vignette um, mine's already set up to be 1.5.5 1, 1, 1. but um, you could go however dark you wanted to go like that that looks pretty cool um, it's set up so just the uh, tops are kind of uh, blackened out and the sides are very uh, vibrant so I guess that's pretty much it again um, just experiment with your image it's different from different images so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something. That